Hello everyone and welcome to the second day of the second EK Expo. Here we have our live Q&A session for this day. And here with me we have Yaka, the head of our Easy Cooling Business Unit. And just to say, uh, Easy Cooling Business Unit is is a uh, is just a internal uh, phrase which we are using inside the uh, inside EK. And also Yaka will explain more why is it called. Easy cooling. Yaka. Thank you, Attila. Um, and of course, not to forget, also Attila is with us, Attila Gobar, so the senior product marketing manager for Custom Loop, so business unit Custom Loop. Uh, I don't think we can explain more in this business unit because you all guys know that uh, this is the parade horse of EKWB. And uh, maybe if uh, I can start like Attila said to explain what is the business unit easy cooling as you saw before in the keynote. So we actually strive to bring the easiness to all of you customers that are not really fond of in DIY solutions or other types of DIYing. So we try to make those products simple as possible. So today we'll be answering your questions, anything you want to ask regarding the custom loop business unit, easy cooling. So let's say uh, AIOs, classic line, and of course, quantum line, we will answer anything you just popped out. So uh, maybe I can start right now because I saw in the chat that there's like a lot of questions regarding the 3090 FE block. Maybe Attila, can you give any hint about that? Coming soon. <laughs> uh, no, no, really, we have finished uh, everything that is like regarding uh, the block. Uh, soon we will also be starting uh, manufacturing the block itself. And uh, later on the show, I will I will talk about more uh, details about the block itself because I presume that uh, uh, now that people saw that we have active back active backplate cooling so, so solutions, people will be asking the same about the FE. Uh, and uh, at the end of the show, if you stay until the end, you might even get to see the block. Thank you, Attila. Uh, and just maybe a reminder for all you guys that you're watching during this Q&A live session, we are going to post a secret code so that you can use them to buy our products. So really pay attention that anything that uh, uh, appears on the screen so that you can use those codes and actually buy any EK stuff. Uh, okay, Attila, you were talking about the FE uh, block, yep. so you said that we might reveal, so do, are you saying that we, are made, uh, we will post some uh, pictures or renders at the yes. end of the video? Yes, yeah. we will okay. uh, post some uh, renders of the block and uh, just stay until the, un, until the end. So we have already started getting some questions and I'm going to... Uh, Ask some questions, Yaka. Obviously, as you have seen in uh, in the video that that we ran before, there were some newish AIOs. So one uh, one uh, question is: Are there going to be new AIOs launching anytime soon? Yes, thank you, Attila. Well, uh, as you all saw, um, there was some new videos during this uh, presentation, and yes, there will be and guess what? They are already launched. So the first version of the EK AIO basic, which actually represents an entry level. So it's based on pure performance without any added extra lights or anything. And it's pure black color as you, uh, all you guys like it. So without any add-ons or um, anything that you want to uh, add it to the to the product but it's already right now live so you can order it on our shop and actually get it and the second thing I also mentioned that there will be another launch closing this week but for this second launch I will keep you a little bit hungry because you will find out tomorrow and all I can say it's connected to the EK AIO Elite so keep 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 posted and follow us. Uh, actually, I, I have one more question following up on this one. When will the new AIOs be available on Amazon? Yes, uh, that's a great question because uh, you might ask, uh, especially guys from US, uh, you have to pay shipping costs to order from Europe. But uh, let me say to you that uh, in the beginning of the March, you will have also all those new AIOs available in the Amazon. Uh, those big cargos are, cargos are on the way to US and you can get it as soon as possible so yeah 
Thanks, Jacob. Uh, okay, then Attila, I have there's some also about few questions about the X570 motherboards uh, chipset cooling. Um, so, uh, what can you tell about that? We have made one chipset cooling which was supporting several Orus motherboards. Uh, I don't think that we will be revisiting this anytime soon, uh, but we will be doing some some of the X570 uh, 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 monoblocks. So we will be doing something more there, and I think that we will be also doing the VRM bridge for the formula, so that because it has the uh, integrated VRM cooling solution, and just like we made it for the Intel version of the board the same way we are we are pl planning to make a uh, VRM bridge so that you can integrate your uh, old CPU block and also have the uh, perfect coolant run inside your case without adding uh, more tubes or fittings to the VRM. Amazing. Um, okay, uh, returning back to the active uh, backplates, yep. there's a question um, if those backplates will actually be applicable also to third-party carts. Um, uh, uh, yeah. So the first version we have made is for the uh, NVIDIA 38 series reference cards 3080, 3090. Of course, it will it will make more sense if you have it on the higher end cards because the higher end cards actually have uh, VRAM on the on the on the back of the PCB. We will be also doing it for uh, the next one will probably be the Strix and the next one after that will probably be the EVGA for the win. Enough of the closed loop stuff, we have some uh, questions of the open loop stuff. So Yako is also responsible for the uh, classic line products. Uh, recently we have launched the uh, 3090 uh, reference block for the uh, classic line. Will there be any other GPU blocks in the classic line coming anytime soon? Yes, of course. Uh, there is uh, first thing is the AMD uh, X uh, 6800 and 6900 block coming out. Uh, this will be available in the beginning of the February. And then after that, of course, we are also covering in the classic line both of the Strix blocks. So 3080, 90 and 3070. This will be arriving, uh, let's say, in the end of the March. Uh, so most of all, we will cover in classic line only the best selling uh, how should I say, graphic cards, but on the other hand, all the other graphic cards, Quantum is there actually to cover everything, right? Yep. <laughs> um, okay, um, then maybe a question regarding the, we all saw the AMD special project yep. and the AIO that was rolled out. Um, guys are asking if there will be something special also regarding the 3080 like an AIO kit or something to be launched. Unfortunately, this is not planned because it, uh, mostly AIO products are like meant for uh, people who like don't want to hassle with custom loop liquid cooling and uh, and uh, something that, that is quite complicated. And by having the founders block itself, uh, the 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 founders block itself is quite complicated. Actually, mounting the the, the uh, block is a bit complicated because you have to uh, di disassemble the uh, the like already good looking uh, air air uh, air air cooling so, so cooling solution on the card and you have to install the block which, which is not an easy process so this is why we think that uh, this is not a product which would have many customers so no we are not uh, uh, thinking about it but of course if we found find enough interest in it we can make it for sure. So, so if like people want it, post it in the in the in the chat. Uh, send us mails, and uh, we can make it happen. So now you see the answer. Just send the emails to the support and to everyone, so that we know what we what we have to do, right? Yep. <laughs> uh, okay. Talking uh, about uh, transparency, like you you, you said that uh, there are no plans. There is a one question popping out all the time about EK Connect. So what is going to happen? Will there be any updates on that? Uh, and what are the plans about the EK Connect? Uh, so the first plan is actually to make the software usable, that it has no glitches, that it has no bugs, so that it runs as it as it should have run from uh, day one. Then then afterwards, we will be implementing all of the 
all of the additional features which we also planned for a for a long time now and uh, that is so that you can use external coolant flow uh, flow uh, meters and also uh, other other readouts like the uh, coolant level sensor will be also becoming available at the, the same time as soon as we have 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 the software up and running as it should okay thank you uh, I'm going to skip back to questions about AIOs to you okay. uh, is there is a question does the basic have any RGB in it so um, as you not. saw on the on the videos there's actually all, the all black version so there will be no, there, there cannot be any light under the black covers yeah. right but no it doesn't come with any, any RGB lightning so it's all for all you guys that like just pure black and how should I say elegant design with uh, minimalistic yeah minimalistic yeah. yeah I should say like that uh, one more question for you about about the uh, classic line of products because uh, we weren't so loud about it, but we have written it everywhere that uh, some of the products which are in that line are actually made in China. So uh, what can we say say about because some of our uh, uh, s some have concerns about quality control with with uh, which uh, products which are made in China. How how are we making sure that our stuff is good? Yeah, so that's a very good question and you will also find about more about that question later on a special webinar talking uh, specifically about that. Um, but I can answer in short that EK has always been standing behind the quality. Uh, of course, we have the main, let's say, um, guidance about uh, passion, technology and innovation and this will guide us to never put a product out on the market that does not go up to our standards. So what this means is actually that when we were transferring the production uh, of Classic Line to China, we wisely choose which suppliers to, to, to work with and we were actually there with all our um, how should I say specialists on each fields to make sure that all the products that come out are specially according to our EK standards and quality. So uh, every every concern about that that this is a how should I say low end or it's not according to to quality that EK wants. No, you are wrong. Uh, every product that EK sells is a quality product. So that's an assurance from our side, right? Yeah. Um, okay, then there's a few questions, Attila, maybe for external cooling. Um, so what can you say that is there any plans like um, external radiator or external cooling unit for O11 or something like that? Uh, we have been thinking about external cooling for a while, but uh, but then at a single point we have d decided to make a step further. So we have made the... Uh, made the case specific external cooling solution which you were uh, which you will be able to, to see uh, and uh, this is a this is a external case cooling solution external cooling solution which can be integrated with the uh, with the uh, with the uh, Li and Li O11 dynamic because this is probably the most popular case on the market and uh, this is why we made this specific external cooling solution which you can mount mount di di directly onto it so that you unscrew unscrew the uh, stock feed from the case place it onto the external cooling solution and and uh, and uh, and uh, then screw the case onto it so that it still looks like a uh, like a single entity like it's meant to look like that from like day one uh, the, this is the only external cooling solution that we have now it is it is purposefully made for the uh, for 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 the Li and Li case but we might tweak it so that it it will be available as a external cooling solution box which can be used with like any 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 other case as well you will be able to hide it under your your desk place it in the, the next room if you have long tubes and st stuff like that so this is on its way 
Okay, thank you, Attila. So you find uh, you, you you saw a lot of information right now. Um, but there is an interesting question about EK Nation. So guys, you are asking if uh, this is like a, a republic, like a ROG, Republic of Gamers. But uh, I would say it maybe like this, that uh, EK Nation is actually connecting gamers all over the world. And this is our goal. Maybe Attila, can you add something to that? This is something that we have just used to name our 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 crowd, our our supporters, fans, uh, mothers, community, PC enthusiasts, everything. So this is just the start because we have uh, we will be reaching out more and more to our fans, supporters, so that we can enjoy PC modding and uh, and uh, and such things together, so that that we can support your your uh, work modding and uh, uh, things that we like to do so uh, keep uh, keep uh, keep uh, following us and you will find out more more and more about what is actually ek nation and what is it all about exactly yes and uh, join it and enjoy with us with every products that we launch and with every information that we give um, okay so now we are uh, having also questions for our product line that is called Fluid Gaming. So at this moment, maybe I can um, give you guys a few seconds because in uh, shortly, Rock will join us and he can you can ask him questions about Fluid Gaming, pre-built computers and everything on that field. So stay with us. And he is the main guy for the fluid gaming PCs. And but before we uh, move on with the questions, I would just like to shout out and uh, and uh, thank you because right now we have a thousand people on our page at this moment. This is a huge number for us. And thanks for watching and thanks for supporting us during this live Q and A. Uh, so, Rock, how are you tonight? And uh, hi to everyone. Um, yeah, it's it's the first time that I'm doing something like this. So um, yeah, it's special. You know, um, you always remember the first one. Uh, and um, I'm really excited. And yeah, uh, maybe some short introduction about myself. So I'm uh, Rok Rastar. I'm head of business unit mainstream. So um, we are creating value for gamers, which want ultimate gaming experience with pre-built PC. So if you have any question regarding pre-built PC, uh, now it's the time, so I'm really looking forward for all the questions. So just explode, please. Uh, when will financing be available for the Fluid Gaming PCs? Yeah, um, so I can let you know that we partnered with the firm. Um, it's a financing company, um, so we are doing everything to launch it this week. Um, so more or less everything is prepared, uh, so we are just counting down, making sure that everything will be uh, fully prepared uh, and that it will function 100%. Um, so this will definitely give you a lot of options to, um, to also buy uh, machines that are a little bit more expensive, but with financing, you know, it's always much easier. Yeah, uh, We don't have all the money always on, on our bank account and with financing, it's, it's really great. So um, that's why, yeah, um, this week we will launch it and yeah, really looking forward um thanks so definitely now it's um questions also for for um attila popping out so um when the new fitting will be available for purchasing uh actually the new fittings so so everything that we launch now that's like 30 something products that 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 we have put in the shop yesterday i think so we have three new plugs we have a we have a drain valve we have a t-splitter and we have two uh static angled female female fittings all of these are available in the shop uh stock will be also available quite soon and uh, and all of them are available in the four uh finishes that 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 we have so nickel black nickel 
set and set in titanium. So all four. Did I say say all all four? Yes, I did. Uh, great. Um, so now that we are actually um, talking about new um, fittings and so on, a new product. So can you also let us know something regarding radiators? Uh, uh, is it coming something? It, we we are always working on like uh, mul multiple new things and. And and we know that the uh, radiator line needs refreshing. All 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 I can say is that we are looking into all of these, but I can't promise any dates yet. And uh, I can just say that say say that uh, please stay tuned and uh, follow us, and maybe more info information will be become available soon enough. Going back to your questions now, and I will, uh, yeah, we have a question about the about the CPU block, which is seen uh, inside the videos. So the uh, fluid uh, fluid uh, fluid gaming PCs have the blocks which have the ports vertically placed, and uh, people are saying that this is not available separately. Can you say something about these blocks? Um, yeah, yeah, um, it's something that we are preparing, um, so it's hard to, to reveal it right now. Um, so we will uh, let you know as soon as everything will be prepared, yeah? Um, okay. Uh, uh, we have a, a, a question that uh, they saw two leaks on the website, the, these are two new builds. Can you say something about any 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 new upcoming fluid gaming PCs? Um, yeah, um, so this week we will also launch, or actually it's already launched, um, new Vanquish 295. Um, so it's upgraded with the, the new CPU, um, 5950. Um, so, um, and also it's upgrading the memory. Um, so this is actually what we, we are launching um, today. Uh, and there is also coming up new Conquest 295, uh, which also has um, the, the um, same CPU and the same amount of, of um, 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 memory. Um, just actually it's for AMD and for NVIDIA, of course the top, uh, top GPUs that uh, we can get on the market currently. Yeah. Uh, but this we will actually uh, launch um, as soon as we will have more details about when um, new GPU will be available also for us because currently as you know um, there is a lot of demand on the market and, and we are also struggling with the supply chain but we are working on it so um, yeah. Um, Thanks, so more questions for you now. Huh? Yep. Um, so let's, let's check. Um, so regarding um, 6000 series Red Devil. Okay. Uh, is there also prepared? Are you preparing something? Eh? Uh, yes, On we this? are preparing them. And and if you have watched our 360 virtual uh, showroom, 360 degrees virtual showroom, you, you were able to see a short teaser about the uh, next, gen, gen, next generation of the power color liquid uh, devil GPUs. And uh, I think they 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 will be available quite soon. I can't say any dates because actually this is a uh, this is a uh, this is a a a product which which we are only su supporting. So the uh, actual release date will be dependent on on a, on 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 our partner. Mm. Um. Let's let's uh, return back to radiators. Um, so there's questions um, if we will have in next generation. So if you are thinking about more ports and version of Xflow uh, with the next radiators, uh, this is also something that that first we uh, first we are looking at feedback on the on on the on the actual market. We have uh, we have we have asked asked uh, people uh, do they actually need need uh, more ports on their radiators and uh, uh, again all I can say is that we we are looking into this we are we are working hard so that we get all of the, the right info information from the users for the point when we will be deciding to making new radiators okay 
Um, uh, you you have mentioned something about the about the supply chain. So so finding the newest hardware these days is uh, is is really hard, which we all know. How are you dealing with this? How 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 is our stock of the fluid gaming PCs doing? Is like everything running smooth? Do we have PCs on stock, or 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 we have to wait? Mm, yeah. Um, if you are checking our um, EK Fluid Gaming website, you can see that currently we have quite um, a long, let's say, a really long um, delivery time. Um, and and this is not what we would like to have. So uh, our vision is um, to ship the same day that you are ordering it. So, and with that, you can probably already guess that we have troubles with getting the GPUs on the market, yeah? Um, so we are really doing everything the best. We are contacting all the time our vendors, uh, try to find new ones. Um, and yeah, um, this is everything that we can do currently. So uh, it's not that it's on us, but it's a complete market, yeah? yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, that's the situation uh, now. We have a we have a basic question question regarding the fluid gaming PCs because some people are are like still not completely convinced on like liquid cooling because there's maintenance blah 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 and uh, and and I think that this is the the wrong approach. So 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 can you e explain if someone buys a fluid gaming PC, what is the maintenance so what does he have to do so that he keeps his pc running for years without any issues yeah um actually it's pretty easy really pretty easy you just need to put uh, when you get the new um pre-built PC that uh, it's of course bought by us, uh, from us, um, you just need to put the liquid inside um, and after one year it just need to be take out and, and put a new liquid inside and with that you should not have or you will not have any problem um, with the with the coolant or with the with the cards, the blocks, anything um, and you know so um, if you're if you're liquid cooling um, the the processors and and um, the, the GPUs, um, the efficiency is much better. Yeah, um, so the it's lower temperature, it's more quiet. So you have so much benefits that those like ten minutes uh, in one year, it will not take you like uh, a lot yeah. to do that. Yeah, I mean this is the same that if you have a car that you have to do 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 your regular service only only it's much easier and it's much cheaper uh, yeah uh, but what you would say you have much more experience attila uh, i mean i like really re really find this really easy because the whole because the whole case is made like so that uh, you can drain it really easily so so doing doing this once once per year shouldn't be any problem for like anyone who can uh, who can game on his PC? Yeah. Um, so I have one question here. Any plans to expand us of tick? Uh, uh, yeah. So so when we launched our sub ambient uh, s CPU cooler, uh, a lot of questions were like uh, turned towards: Will it be available for other? Uh, processor manufacturers as well on uh, uh, this this special cooling solution was 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 made by 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 us working with Intel so so this is why Intel owns some of this uh, some of the software hardware parts as well so this is why uh, it is exclusively available only for Intel if someone else decides to uh, to like make all of this software BIOS updates, uh, so uh, then it might be available for other platforms as well. But I can say that it is it is not easy to like make the whole uh, uh, software controller BIOS updates. So it 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 is it. It is not as so easy as just making the CPU cooler itself. It has to be the uh, actual support behind 
all of this so 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 that it works flawlessly with, without any errors. Mm, okay. Um, so s some of our viewers would also like to know what's about ITX case, uh, which was teased before. Can you say it again? Sorry. Um, ITX case. Oh, uh, the 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 ITX case, which was showcased on our first expo. We are we are working quite hard to actually bring it to the market, but uh, since we are not expert case manufacturers, we are looking into ways to like even maybe partner with with a with a actual case manufacturer because we we have seen a a a a, a like lot of a uh, lot of feedback so that people like this case. I mean, even 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 now, uh, uh, people are asking for this case, and and all I can say is that we are trying re really hard to actually bring this case t to the market. Mm. Okay, uh, thanks Attila for that. Um, actually, I have um, more or less the last question for you. And it is regarding Intel Tech to be uh, compatible with the 11900K. Uh, I think it will be compatible. Now we will be waiting for the for the uh, for the new boards to launch and the new C CPUs as well. So I'm sure that uh, I'm sure that they will be a uh, there 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 will be a actual BIOS update which will make this processor compatible with this cooling as well. Mm. We also have codes, huh? Uh, we have two codes and, uh, and, and we have also questions about the magnitude Threadripper CPU block. The, the uh, magnitude, C magnitude uh, Threadripper CPU block was shown first time at the first uh, EK Expo. And I can say that uh, we have finally reach, reached a, a a point where we started making these blocks. So with, 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 within the next few weeks, uh, it will be available for uh, ordering in our shop. Uh, I think that uh, soon we will be wrapping up this live Q&A. Rock will be uh, uh, sharing some codes, right? Um, yeah, actually, I'm just getting them. So um, give us another minute, and we will tell you. Yeah. Um, so, meanwhile, um, anything new? Also, can you tell us a bit more about the Trade Reaper? Uh, yes. So, so like I said, uh, we have shown it at the at at the last EK Expo, and uh, uh, it. It is a very special CPU block. So just like we have made our 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 first high-end uh, high-end uh, CPU block, which is uh, which is uh, fully CNC machined, the uh, the 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 a new magnitude uh, 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 Threadripper block will also be fully CNC machined. Every 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 piece of this block will be cnc machine so so there are no fast uh, injection molded pieces or like anything which would be implicating that it it is a mass produced cpu block and uh, from the like uh, we have also managed to reach uh, some of the best performance that that uh, we could achieve by just simple liquid cooling by this C C CPU block. So stay tuned and uh, keep your eyes peeled for this CPU block. Mm -hmm. um, so regarding codes, um, they're written here. So uh, please use them. Um, it's a discount for our EK shop. Yep. Um, and of course, if you're here, you know it now. And then, yeah, uh, take it. Yeah. Um, that's actually it from our side uh, regarding Q&A. Uh, that's it for uh, that's it for this Q and a If you have more questions, uh, you can also send it to send it to our uh, Facebook team, support team, and uh, we will be answering all of the questions that way as well. I would like to thank you all for uh, for for watching. 
coming here and also please don't for, forget that we have one more day of the EK Expo tomorrow. There you will be able to see also some bloopers and I think that th this is one, one of the best parts about this show. So please stay tuned and uh, have some fun. Yeah, thank you and enjoy. Bye bye. Thanks. Bye bye.